So I had parked a camper here for about a year, and then of course over a year ago I moved it, and the grass just has never been the same. It's never really grown back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the hydro moose applied to the left side, and the grow tracks applied to the right side. We'll see which one does better. I like this spot to test it out because it is high sun most of the day, and I will water it a few times a day, but this is an optimal location for something to grow. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. In this video, we are going to grow grass literally. I know what you're thinking, that sounds strange. Anyway, we're gonna be comparing two different products. One is an As Seen on TV product, and another is a product that I actually saw on Instagram. Let's get right to the review to see which one does a better job. We have our Hydro Moose right here on the left, and it is an As Seen on TV product. This retailed for about $30, and it's about a half a pound is the net weight of the contents, plus it comes with this sprayer. On the right, we have Grow Tracks, and this is 55 square feet, and it retailed for about $60. I would encourage you, if you're gonna get something like this, to shop around, because I was able to find some up to 100 square feet, which may have been a little less money. The only problem is I wanted this, and that one was gonna come for a month or two, so shop around. If you don't mind waiting, you can get it for a little better deal. Inside the Hydro Moose, we actually have grass seed, and there's also some color additive, and that color additive is supposed to tell us how much seed is left. Of course, we also see some directions. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up first, and then we're gonna look at the grow tracks. It's important to note that although this is a dye, it's also an additive used to coat the seed and encourage growth, so make sure you do use this. It's not just to make the water green, but also helps the grass seed grow. The directions for how much seed you need is on the side of the container. If I'm just overseeding a lawn, I'm on this side. If I'm doing new seed, it's gonna be on this you side. You start each process by dropping one of the Hydro Moose seeding coating formulas in. Of course, I'm gonna open that up and drop it in. And because I'm going to be seeding like a new lawn type of thing, I'm gonna fill it up to this side. I'm gonna fill it almost up to 50 square feet. The spot I have is actually 30 square feet, but then there's another spot I wanna try it on as well. So that's why I'm going a little over. Let's start the process. So I ripped open the top, which took a little effort. I'm dropping that part in. And then I'm gonna cut open my seed bag and fill up almost to 50 square feet. From there, I'm gonna go connect the top again fill up the water about three quarters of the way and let it sit so the whole thing mixes up together and then we'll use it. So I used up the in, almost the entire bag. You can see where it filled up to. So if you're gonna use this for larger areas, you're gonna need to get a lot more seed. So what I'm gonna do now is put the top on, fill the water on up to this line here and let it set. I did wanna show off the sprayer head real fast because it has a few settings. As you see right now, we are turned to the off setting. So of course, if the water's on, nothing will be coming out. I'll turn it just one dial. It does not click, it just goes to that area. And that of course is just spraying out water. It bypasses the bin altogether. The next one you can see if I turn it to is light seed, right? And so you'll still have green, but it's not a whole lot of seed. Then it comes to the off position. Then of course, then there's a heavy seed depending on the type of seeding you are doing. When we go hook this to the hose, we wanna make sure that it's on light seed for our initial use. And of course, we'll fill it up three quarters of the way. We have the grow tracks removed from the plastic. Now I just gotta figure out how to cut this little strip without hurting myself. There we go. Here's our grow tracks. As you can see, it's a really thin material that has the seed in there and it's got everything it needs to grow and be protected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our first piece, cut it, and we're only gonna water half of it, right? So if this is this part from left to right is all, we're gonna water half of it when it's on the ground. So once it's watered, it'll start to stick. The next one, we're gonna overlap just a little bit and water this half and the new half, and so they're sticking as they're going. They also recommend not to do this on a really windy day. Now it's a little windy today, but not terribly bad, so I'm hoping that we'll have good Results. To go along with that, you need to keep grow tracks in a dry place because once it gets wet, it starts to biodegrade and starts the process. So if you're not looking to plant it somewhere, be very careful not to get this wet. And if you have extra when you store it, make sure it's in a place where it will be dry. Whether using hydromoose or grow tracks, it's important to first prep the ground. So I have a hard rake that I'm just gonna scrape up the top layer just to get it prepared to receive the new seed. We are hooked up. We are on light seed, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up. You can see the water spraying out, but it's also filling up. I'm gonna get it to where it's three quarters of the way up. We are there, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is about the water level. Let's let it sit for about a minute. 
To prepare this ground for the best case scenario or to optimize growth, I'm gonna use a hard rake and get the top two inches or so just really turned over and raked up. I'm gonna go from left to right all over just to create the scenario where this is the best case for either of these two grass growing systems. This has been as raked as far as I'm gonna go. I took off a lot of the top dead grass that was maybe blown on from the lawn mowing, plus I stirred up the under dirt a little bit. I'm gonna start with the grow tracks first. We just really roll out the grow tracks. You can see that I have a little bend right here. That's because I don't have a straight line. I'll probably just end up cutting off that extra. I could have squared off the outside, but well, I didn't want to. So I'm gonna cut it down at that end, wet the top half, and move on to the next row. I've cut the grow tracks and trimmed the edge here. Now I'm gonna start spraying just the one half all the way down the line. So that will immediately start the bond. I wanna make sure not to try to get the other half because I'm gonna overlap, but that's the first step. Let's get the roll again and start rolling it out. The biggest tip I can recommend is to use something to hold the pieces down. That way they do not blow away. Even with the little wind that I have today, pieces are blowing away and it's frustrating. Having the two tools holding it down until I get it to watered is amazing because once it's watered, it does not move. I like that I can even cut little tiny pieces like this and put it in to a spot and water it down and it sticks. Perfect fit, awesome. It took about eight minutes to roll this grow tracks out and put it down just by myself. The directions do tell you now do not step on this because you can ruin the process as it's biodegrading. Now it's time to apply the hydra mousse. I've actually had this sitting the entire time the grow tracks was being applied, so about 10 minutes. I'm looking forward to seeing this in action. Direction tells us to turn the water on and wait till we start to see green coming out and I'm already seeing green, so I'm gonna turn it right off. Here's the moment of truth. It's definitely coming out green. I'm not sure it's moosey, but it's coming out green nonetheless. Last little bit of the moose being applied. It's hard to tell on video, but it does look green all the way around. Now you do see puddles of green, but for me, I can see the whole thing covered. What I like about this is I don't have to cut in and out of pieces if it's an uneven edge or whatnot, it just covers entirely. After about 30 minutes of spraying, I'm no longer seeing green come out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this apart, rinse out the whole thing and store it for later. In the process of cleaning it out, I got the green all over my hands. I'm told not to worry, this should just wash off, but just so you know, it's like food coloring and I'm turning into the Hulk. After adding the green mousse, mixing the correct amount of seed, putting in the water, letting it set, and then spray it, you think that you're done, but you're not. You're actually supposed to roller it or tamp the area that had the seed. I don't have a roller, but I do have a tamper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over with this tamper, pushing down. This is supposed to lock in the seeds. My guess is it's really just pushing the seeds down into the ground. So what are your thoughts of these two products, either the Grow Tracks or the Hydra Moose? Have you used either? Would you consider it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from Let's you. Let's use our aqua handle and water down our grass spots. You can already tell that it looked like it was getting dry. It's important not to let it dry. They recommend watering it about three times a day. Just getting a nice coat. We're gonna go over this part and then we're also gonna cover over there where the hydro moose was. Here we are at day seven. And well, nothing's happening. I haven't done any updates between the first day and now because well, just like I said, there's been no growth of grass here. I'm told by the directions that seven to 10 days after we initially put it down, we are supposed to start seeing some grass growing. So I'm hopeful in the next couple of days that'll actually happen. I zoomed in here on the grow tracks. You can see the little seeds around. Nothing's happening above the grow tracks. Maybe something's happening underneath. I'm hopeful in the next few days to see some changes. Let's look at the hydro moose seeds. You can see those dark green seeds. Doesn't seem that anything's happening on the hydro moose side as well. Like I said, this is only day seven. So hopefully in the next week or so we might see some growth. So it's been two weeks to the day. 
a total of 14 days since I first did this project. Of course, we have the grow tracks on the right and the hydro moose on the left and not a whole lot has happened. You do see some of whatever the roughage or the green stuff, probably weeds that are growing through, but let's take a closer look at the seeds. With the grow tracks, you can see that there is grass growing. Uh, the little blades popping up here and there, definitely spaced further out than I would like. And you can still see some seeds that are not growing or haven't fully started to germinate or whatnot. It's easier to see the grass growth here on the grow tracks than the hydrobus simply because of the green base. I will say that although you don't see it from above, there is some grass that is growing and they're between a half inch to an inch tall. There is still a lot of seeds that I can see all over the place but patches here and there are growing. I always love looking at the lawn after it's been mowed. It looks so beautiful everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Here we are at week three. It's been 21 days. We have our grow tracks on the left over here and a hydra moose on the right. In my opinion, it's not looking all that great. Let's take a closer look. We are seeing grass that is sprouting. It's about an inch and a half tall over here on the grow track side, but it's also mixed in a lot of weeds. You can see those clovers. On the hydro moose side, there is a few pieces of grass that are growing here and there, but it's a lot more weeds and a lot less grass. We have been continuing with the watering regimen three times a day, unless of course it rains. I think it's getting enough water. I make sure that at least the grow track side is not dry. Same thing with that of the hydra moose. Let's fast forward to week eight. You can definitely see the grass has grown a lot longer. I have been checking in on it every week, except I haven't been filming it because nothing was really changing. It has rained for like the last seven days, and now it's looking like a virtual field. As I said back in week three, there's a lot of weeds that have grown up in here as well. And that's sort of similar to what's on the rest of the grass. It's not all grass. There's clover and such out there, so that makes sense that all it's right, here. Let's take a closer look. Here's the matting you can see from the grow track still. I'm sure that will grow over but time. I just wanted to go over here and show you before I mow this down what it looks like. As I went back to edit some of the video, I had been using a wide angle camera to try to catch more of the view in one shot. And I realized it sort of changed the color or at least the color of what the grass looked like. So I'm gonna film it back in with my regular lens. This side that had the grow tracks is definitely not as thick as the side. And you can see some of the grow tracks there shining through. So it's not as thick as the side that had the hydra moose. The hydra moose looks really thick and dense. And actually, you know what? I'm surprised, but it grew in pretty nicely. I should point out that these two black spots over here are actually where I parked my trailer. That's where the tires were on. And so I left them there just in case. I don't even know why. I probably should have taken them off and I probably will do that after this video, but that's why those things are still there. Getting a close up of some of these spots. This is thin grass growing in. It is growing, but it's pretty thin. My guess is in a little while, this could get a lot thicker, but as of the last two months, it did not thicken up as well as the hydra moose side. In the end, they both grew grass where there was no grass before, but as for this video, it looks as though the hydra moose did a better job. I will say it was more work for the hydra moose than it was for the grow tracks, and maybe over time, this remaining piece of grow tracks will grow in. But I will say, Hydra Moose takes it this time. In this video, we were comparing two different ways to grow grass, the As Seen on TV Hydra Moose versus, well, the As Seen on Instagram Grow Tracks. And I had no idea what to expect from either product. We can talk about the Hydra Moose first. It was definitely a lot less expensive, and I really do appreciate the savings. When you purchase the product, you don't really know the amount of preparation you need. I actually thought I was gonna come out, spray it, be done, and you know what? In a few weeks, I would have grass. That's not it. The Hydra Moose and the Grow Tracks, you had to absolutely scrape up the ground. They recommend almost tilling it two inches up. I tried my best at doing that with a hard rake, and then you spray it on. And then you think you're done again? Nope, you gotta tamp it down. So there is a lot of extra work with the Hydra Moose as compared to the Grow Tracks. After the very same preparation, the Grow Tracks just rolls on, you spray it, and that's it. Other than watering it every day, a few times a day, you don't do anything else with it. That is very convenient. As you saw earlier in the video, I was very fair. I watered both sides three times a day unless it rained. And as you saw from the video, the side with the Hydra Moose sprayed on it grew a lot better than the side with the Grow Tracks on it. In the end, I was pleased with the results on both sides. It did require a lot of 
preparation in order to get it to grow. The Hydra Moose did do a lot better than the side with the Grow Tracks, but they both grew grass. And I do think that the Grow Track side will continue to grow and it'll thicken and such, but you know what? Hydra Moose did it a lot quicker. If either of these products are of interest to you. I will link them down below. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I wanted to show this piece of ground as well because I had sprayed the Hydra Moose on here, just a bare piece of dirt. I did not do the tamping part and it's the same eight weeks ago and you can see how sporadic the grass growth is. It just shows you how important that one step of tamping down or rolling down the grass seed actually is to the Hydra Moose. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I grew grass. You know what? I couldn't have done this review without my aqua handle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.